I think we're sort of in blackout period. Pudensicum is delicious, but it's not hugely spicy. The flavors can be subtle. Due to the chili in high altitude, fermented foods and beverages are popular in Sikkim. Traditional dishes gather influence from Tibet and Nepal to Gurkha regions. This is gunduk soup, and it's a traditional Sikkimese um, dish. Gunduk is a fermented leafy green vegetable soup of radish, cauliflower, roots of radish, onions, and tomatoes. Originating in Nepal, it happens to be one of the favorite dishes in many Gorkha or Nepalese households. Wow, it tastes good, especially on a, a cold night like this. And the second bowl. It doesn't look very appetizing, but actually it, it is. Sal roti is a deep-fried ring-shaped soft pretzel made from fermented rice batter. These are often eaten during festivals and for special occasions. I like a donut pretzel. It's hard on the outside. A little, not crunchy, but a little hard on the outside. Inside is soft. The inside is like flour. Like sweet flour. Momos are a deep-fried Tibetan dumpling. They can be steamed, fried, or boiled, and contain anything from vegetables, meat, or cheese. Sometimes they give you like these, uh, this hot sauce. Sometimes they even give you ketchup. Uh, it sounds kind of corny, but actually ketchup does okay with some of these foods. Kind of like add some on that. Cheese momos. Now these are kind of like the cheese that's in here. It's, it's homemade cheese, or it's cheese from the, the region. I'm not trying this cheese anywhere before, but it tastes pretty fresh. So I thought I might actually be a little afraid of the cheese here because I wasn't sure. I never tried cheese at this region. What I didn't know at the time was that Seacombe's cheese making industry is actually known for producing some of India's finest varieties of cheese. And the cheese is becoming a global sensation with other countries. They should package this stuff up and sell them in America. My cheese momos, my lemon tea, and ESPN. All in Pelly. A popular and easily available item is tukpa. A Tibetan style egg noodle soup, which is very spicy, based with vegetables or meat. Unfortunately, I didn't get to try this, but this is a must try dish in Sikkim. Okay, so when in West Sikkim, um, one thing to try are, is the yak cheese, um, as well as Tibetan bread. So right now I have um, Tibetan bread and yak cheese. I'm just gonna try the yak cheese a little before I put it on my bread. <laughs> it kind of mix, it tastes kind of smoky and kind of salty. It's got a really unique flavor. It doesn't really taste so much like cheese. Occasionally, you'll find yak cheese on the cultural menu for this region. It's something to try if you're in Yuxum. Yak cheese is slightly richer and healthier than cheese from cow milk. They've mixed it with all these different um, vegetables and peppers, onions. In this shop, it has a distinct smoky rubbery flavor. I can't quite get used to it. Very interesting. What better way than to wash it down with some sweet lassi, a sweetened Indian yogurt drink. Driving through Sikkim, the route is amazing scenic. I was staring out my window the entire time. 